In this video, I'd like to give an overview of the project page within Studio One Three, and the project page is basically where we can accomplish our mastering once we've finished a project. And in order to access that page, we can come to create a new project or come up top here. If you have a project open already, you can click this down arrow and then access it by clicking there. But we're just going to go ahead and create a completely new project and we'll name this tutorial. We can then choose a location here and then a sample rate. I'll press OK. And then we're taking it into the kind of default setup for this page. And let's just briefly go over some of the general functions. And we'll start at the very top here. Uh, we've got update. So if you have imported songs into the project file that you are working on within Studio One, you can then, and you've made some changes to the song, you can use this update so you don't have to render down your songs again. You can just choose to update. And if that song is within the uh, timeline down here, then it will go ahead and do that for you. Next, we have a burn, so we can burn a Red Book audio CD. We have a couple of choices for image uh, creation. So we can just, um, we don't have a uh, any audio in here, any song, so that's why we have that. So actually, let's go ahead and bring something in here uh, as we move along. And we can hit the browse here, or we can just press F5 on our keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one here, and drag that in, and I'll bring this one in. And I'll just hit this icon here to close out. We can also zoom in down below here by clicking and dragging down here in the timeline. And we'll move over here. OK, so now where were we? The images, so we can then click here. We can choose a location, format, resolution, sample rate, and so on. We can then also choose a digital release. And we have the location as well. We can choose which tracks that we want to include by deselecting these checkboxes or checking our format. We may want to release MP3s, high quality MP3s. We can choose the bit rate here all the way up to 320. I'll just go ahead and cancel out. And then next we have a time readout for, this is particularly useful if we're going to be burning a red book CD, then this is gonna show us where we're at as far as how much time we have remaining for our disc. And at this point we have 54 minutes left of the 80 that's available. Here we have auto scroll, we can just click to turn that on and off. That's gonna affect whether down here where our tracks are uh, listed, if this is going to follow along with our playback cursor or stay in the same location. We can click this question mark here to have uh, tips displayed when we're moving around to different aspects of the project. We've got for transfers, start song and project. Again, we can access our other one that we have open by clicking there. Next, we have a disk field and we can put our uh, album title, title here. We can put our artist name here. And then below these two fields, we have a down arrow. If we click that, then we can enter various metadata within this area, as well as any album artwork. We click that arrow up to get rid of that. And then we have our track column here. And this is gonna display all of the tracks that we have within our project. We can select a track by clicking. You can see that these change. What is highlighted changes depending on what I have selected up above. We can actually change the color of our track like so. We also have an area here for adding additional metadata to this track. We have a readout of the length of our song, the pause in between our songs there. And whichever track we have selected, note here, 
we can add inserts if we want to do any further processing or add any effects to our songs. We can do that here. We can click this plus icon. And just notice that this updates. If I choose that, then we can add inserts to the world track. Below that, we have a master section. So then we can, if we're mastering, this is really where we're going to have most of our effects at. And this will be applied to every song that's listed below or in the track column here. To the right, we have a spectrum meter here. And we can choose several different types here. I'll just go ahead and maybe play back. So we could take a look at these. FFT. And we then have a level meter here. And all the way to the right, we have a phase meter. And then below that, we have a clip indicator. And as we've seen, we can kind of zoom in and out below here. We also have a control for doing that in the bottom right hand corner. If we would like to move our songs around, we can just click and drag that audio event uh, and move that. And I didn't mention when we were in the track column here, we actually have a couple of uh, level meters to the right of our tracks here as well. Uh, some of you may not care about that, but I love meters. So, um, so we can see that we have that there as well. And I didn't go through these other options for the level meter here, but we have K20, K14, and then also for the spectrum meter, we have a few different options here. A hold. And then down below we have kind of a st some standard transport controls along with a loop. And we have our locators that we can set here in case we're working on our effects and we want to listen back continuously to be sure that it's as we would like. We have our master control here, which uh, you probably won't, don't want to mess too much with, but that corresponds to this one here. We can control click to return that back to Unity. And then here, this may be useful to you when you're mastering. We can click this icon to change from stereo mode into a mono. And that is a brief overview of the project page within Studio One 3.